All right, this is Chris from my uh, cricketforum.com. What we have today is a R2-D2 Droid 2. It flashes the same way a Droid 2 does. We're going to flash it to Cricket. I'm holding down the X button and putting the battery in right now and turn the power on because it has a lock code on it. And we want to reset that because the person that gave it to me didn't give me the lock code. You see the little Motorola icon right there. Now we've got this exclamation mark, and what we're going to do is close the slider, and we're going to push the volume up button, and then press the camera button. While holding the volume up. Actually, I think we're supposed to hit the search button, the actual physical search button. Alright, yep, that's what we do. And I'm using the volume key to go down to wipe data factory reset. I'm choosing yes. Now it's formatting all of that. Usually I do the voiceovers at the end because it's a little bit easier, but due to time constraints, the fact that I should be working right now, I'm going to try to do this all at once. So sorry if I mess up a bunch of times. When you follow along uh, with the Droid 2 thread, it'll probably make a lot more sense to you. So try to open that and watch the video at the same time if you're doing the flashing. I guess I had to hit the OK, which was the menu button, perhaps. Anyways, it's... Uh, wiped. Now I'm using the camera button to reboot the system again. Should be wiped clean so we'll have no problem getting into it. Let's see, it's R2-D2 with the little back and everything. You can pretty much make a phone into R2-D2 droid by getting this piece, this piece, but you can't really get the bumpers and the, uh, the buttons. Plus, it does have a chrome finish to the front. You can actually flash these over to the Droid 2 software. So some people might be doing that to get the gingerbread leak on it. I'm going to plug it in. First thing we're going to do is actually uh, root the device. It's taking a long time on the first boot. It always does this when you wipe, when you uh, install a new ROM. It's writing a lot of things to the phone right now. We're going to use uh, Z4 root to actually root the device. And this is the welcome screen on a fresh device. It'll say welcome to Droid 2. And this is the same thing for a lot of the phones. Go around the black portion on the four corners. And if you tap them correctly, I think it's in a clockwise manner, should let you get around this screen. Boom. Backup assistant. I'm going to hit back and home and try to get around this. Back home. Skip for now. Home. There we go. Good deal. Let's set the USB mode so we can put some files on this. It's already set as USB mass storage. Alright, if it's USB mass storage, where is the drive? 
So you plug it, plug it back in. Looks like the SD card is actually above the tab and not below it. Means we're going to have to reboot it again. Make sure it's in there below that little tab. I'm trying not to fast forward through these tutorials just so you can see how long it all really takes. Z4 root is usually best run off of a fresh restart. Uh, if you ever have problems with it, restart the device and have Z4 root be the first thing you run. And it's just like a PC. You give it a chance to boot everything before you try to start other applications. This phone can get pretty annoying with all the sounds on it. Alright, there's the drive. Pasting it on there. What we can actually do is do this through the ADB menu. Um, in order to install it, if you just had it on the SD card, you'd probably have to get something like Astro File Manager from the market. So just connect to Wi-Fi and get Astro File Manager and then find that uh, application and you can install it. You'd also have to allow unknown sources. But we're a little bit more high speed here. We're going to enable USB debugging. It already knows where the drivers are on my computer probably. Allow mock locations. Some people say enable that. It's installing the drivers here. Since I've done so many of these phones, it already knows where my drivers are. Right there. Comes up as an A957. A Droid 2 is A955. So now we can open up the command prompt. With the new uh, SDK drivers, you can use the ADB command anywhere. So ADB install. That's where my this is where my file is. C4 root. I'm also going to install uh, AnyCut. Sometimes it makes it easier to get the APNs instead of using the voice menu. Alrighty, now back to the phone. C4 roots right there. We're going to do permanent root. And mainly, you need this if you're trying to go on the $45 plan. Um, we'll probably do the modifications for the $45 plan in another video, a uh, part two to this video. First, we're just going to get on the $55 plan. Alright, Z4 root has uh, rebooted the phone.
that was quick. See, we got super user now. I mean, see, we got super user now. All right. Now, unlike the uh, original Droid, you don't have to boot the computer holding down T or anything to make a connection to it for uh, QPST and CDMA Workshop or whatever. All you have to do is connect it and make sure it is in PC mode. Okay. Now you are going to need drivers uh, for this. It should be listed on the tutorial. I might get one error here, but it's not a big deal. I don't think I need the MTP interface. HW Virtual Serial Port, which uh, can be kind of finicky sometimes. I don't know if it's a problem with the software or actually the uh, the device. I'm trying to show you everything that's going on in the computer. Alright, all the device drivers were found. In this version, you don't have to hit login. Sorry, logged in. I think uh, see the administrative uh, issues. Create com. Just gonna make a com port over here. All right, we're not lucky, so it didn't connect right. Sometimes when I don't connect right, uh, what I do is go to charge only, delete the com, come back, go back into PC mode. All the drivers should be recognized now. Let it come back up, then create the com again. Sometimes you have to reboot the whole thing. Reboot your computer, reboot the phone. All right, connected for the time being. Next thing I'm going to is CDMA Workshop. If I can find my folder. Ever feel like you have too much stuff on your desktop? 